was telling them we went through boyfriends. Good morning. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rokia, also known as Miss Queen Row. I am a full-time brand strategist, part-time digital creator, documenting life, career, and travel content. It's been a few days since I've seen you all. One reason why I wanted to pick you guys up is because I wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all the birthday blessings, the messages, the DMs, the comments, the replies, all of that wrapped into one, the e-gifts. It was so, so sweet. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for showing so much love. I had a great time in New York solo. Y'all haven't traveled until you travel solo. If you have not checked those videos out, please do so. I'll link them down below, but you can also just go through the travel playlist and look at all the videos that I made while traveling solo during my birthday week. Just stopped at Panera Bread for a little bit, just about an hour because I need to get some work done and kind of stall to waste time because a friend and I are going to be celebrating our 20 year anniversary friendship. And we decided to do brunch. I'm not sure she's gonna be wanna be on camera too much, but just in case, I'll make sure to get a picture so you guys can at least see what she looks like. And she's not only my friend, she's my nail tech, she's my, she's just been a lot. <laughs> you know how you go to the nail salon, you kind of talk about your life. We have gone through uh, boyfriends, marriages, for me, divorce, kids, it's been a long time since when I moved to when I first moved to Charlotte. Um, I was looking for a nail tech, and I found her. I don't remember how I found her shop, but I remember I found her, and went from nail tech to customer, from uh, to friends, and we've held it all to um, the, all these years. Um, when I first moved to Charlotte about twenty years ago, I can count on one hand how many friends that I have for probably 10 years or more, much less 20 years. I don't even really have close friends that I still talk to from high school. So it's it really says a lot to where we need to celebrate our 20 year friendship. And I'm grateful that I've had her in my life and a few other people. So I'm really thankful for that. All right, let me go into Panera for a little bit. Well, I'm not having a lot, just a chai latte, tea, chai tea latte, and this pecan braid. Well, I'm working because obviously I'm about to go to brunch and I don't want to eat a lot. I only got the braid because it was a free gift for my birthday. I wanted to redeem it. Hey, Royals! I have my friend here. She wanted to be on camera, so yay. Say hi, Chintana. Oh, hi! <laughs> How did we meet? <laughs> Oh my goodness, in 2003, 2003. at Kim Nails. Yes. <laughs> it was a long time ago. I was telling them we went through boyfriends, like single boyfriends, then marriages, then me divorced, then kids, <laughs> and now prom for her. And a senior. She has a senior. Yes. I cannot believe it. I remember when that little girl was in her belly. <laughs> I cannot believe it, but yeah, we've been friends for 20 years and we are now celebrating our friendship for 20 years, about to have brunch, and we don't really have brunch, so we're gonna commit to going into 2024. We're gonna do this more often, right? Yeah. Definitely, so. I just wanna say thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Spiderweb out of their truck. That's cute. 
Good morning, Royals. It is a couple of days later. It's Wednesday and I'm rushing again. So I'm, I'm gonna have to talk to you guys from the back of the camera while we are headed to my destination. Um, I got a few things planned for today. Well, let me stop with the rushing part. So it seems like this has been happening a lot lately, but this, this morning I have an uh, excuse because I could not sleep last night. Uh, thankfully, uh, Reagan slept at her dad's house, so I didn't have to get up and take her to school this morning, which probably would have got me going on time, but whatever. I needed the extra sleep because I did look up at 2 o'clock in the morning and could not go back to sleep. Usually when that happens, I need to get like a little snack or something because I did feel hungry, but I'm trying to get out of that. I'm trying to get my stomach out of that, so I just pushed through it, but unfortunately, I didn't wind up going back to sleep until about... 5 30 6 after 6 and then was supposed to get up at 7 by that time I was in realm sleep mode again and I did not I did the alarm went off at 7 and then I didn't get out of the bed until like close to 8 so that I can kind of wake myself up with still going to the second thing that I did that kind of caused me to put me behind I'm on my way to my destination because today I'm taking like a leisurely day um, I'm rewarding myself because and as an entrepreneur you have to do that because you you it is liable that you can work 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 all the time and you, we got to stop doing that so I am I don't have any client calls today so I'm actually gonna go out go to this appointment and then after that I'm gonna go to the cheesecake factory because I still have birthday coupons you know those um, coupon freebies that you get when you sign up for their rewards. And I'm like, I am using these <laughs> until, the, until they expire because I spend my money at these businesses all year round. They can at least reward me for one time a year. I'll take it. So I get a free cheesecake at Cheesecake Factory, but I said I'm just gonna actually just stay for lunch and have a solo date with myself um, after I leave here. And then, I don't know, we'll see what the day holds. I may go to the movies because there's a movie theater right beside it um, before I have to go get Reagan. Uh, so where did I leave you guys last? Oh yeah, it was uh, with Chintana. Speaking of Chintana. Look at my theme nails. You did such a great job. They're so cute. Okay, mommy, don't say anything. I'm just doing it for the theme and I don't know if I've ever had Halloween nails, so we're gonna enjoy it. But you did a good job, thank you. And we came outside for my feet. She did my feet too. So, so now it's time to go and treat myself. Let's go ahead, we, we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go to Cheesecake, Cheesecake Factory in Birkdale. So, <laughs> thank you again, girl. You're welcome. Royal. I want the bacon, bacon, cheeseburger. Well, look at the calories. 1,630 calories. Well, <laughs> I guess we're going to treat myself, right? But obviously, the real reason why I came here is for cheesecake. So, I think we are going to go with this cookie dough lover's cheesecake with pecans. Yep. I think I wanted it last time and I went with something else, but yeah, definitely getting it today. tell you that was a lot of calories but look how much I ate and I'm already full I didn't have anything this morning for breakfast except for a protein bar and I'm like so full I didn't even eat any bread not well I ate some but not a lot like two pieces and I'm full I love the fact that you know the workout program that I'm doing my stomach has shrunk a lot so this is going home for later while I'm waiting for my cheesecake I was looking to see if I could catch a movie but it's not gonna work because it's already like a little after two and I'm eventually have to go pick up Reagan. And most of these movies, first of all, most of these movies are Halloween movies and I'm not in the mood for horror. And a lot of them start at like three something. I think the only thing I really would have watched first, wait, okay. That's the creator. 
Okay, I thought I saw something else. Yeah, I think I would only want to see this one, the, my big fat Greek wedding. Um, but I don't know if I saw the second one. And I don't, I like seeing things in sequence. And like I said, this, it's after two, so one has already started. And that one's at four. Yeah, that's definitely not gonna work. So it's a no-go with the movie. So I guess I'm just gonna go home and wait around until Reagan gets back. Hmm, a little bit more chocolate chips than what I thought it would be. But let me taste it. All right, first of all, can y'all see how many chocolate chips this person gave me? I told them this was my birthday cake, so maybe they just gave me extra. It's okay. But I think Reagan's gonna enjoy it more, so she can have most of this. She likes chocolate more than me. I'm not a chocolate girl. How was school? Good. You had picture day today. We hoping that your hair didn't look like this when you took the picture. <laughs> it's cute little ponytails. So finally have fifth grade pictures. We'll see what those look like. And you get in your yearbook. How was your day? Good. Anything new happen? <laughs> of course not. All right. Happy Thursday Royals. As you can see, I am about to do a quick grocery haul. However, don't get used to these because honestly, I think they're boring and they're kind of corny. I hardly like watching them on other channels. But from an entrepreneur budget standpoint, I thought it would be actually pretty interesting to actually show you since it was time for me to buy October groceries, how much I usually spend on in a month on groceries. So I'll tell you the, and this is another reason why I'm going to do this as well. I'll tell you at the end when I show you how much I paid for it. All right, so let's get started. Cran apple juice. This will actually last me. I actually have another one that's still open and it's over a month now. So this is going to last me a long time because I really watch my juice intake for health reasons. I really only do like a small glass at dinner. That's it. Uh, White Castle Sliders, Reagan really likes these for when I don't feel like cooking. Um, she likes these roll-ups as well for breakfast. I actually <laughs> bought a new kind, maple, so I hope she likes those because usually I just get the regular biscuit ones. I've been in the mood for um, sandwiches, so I bought this for a sandwich. And then beef bites, ground turkey, but I had it seasoned, so I'm going to try the season, season one as well. It says for beef lovers, and I do like beef. And then some crab, stuffed crab for a quick meal, quick dinner meal. Uh, 2% milk, I uh, lactose free specifically. I like getting the lactose free number one because Reagan and I, we are a little lactose intolerant, but really the reason is, see the date? Over a month it lasts, November 29th, because we're not really drink eater, or drinkers. So this will last a long time for us. Uh, for a snack, I'm going to try these. I like the regular granola bars. I like the crunchy ones, but this has like a little peanut dip on it. So we're going to try those. Oh, and by the way, I do shop at my local grocery store, Food Lion. For the most part, the reason is, is because they have a coupon. What is that? The savings card that you can use. And I use it all the time. Plus I have coupons. So I usually do save a pretty good amount of money and for convenience purposes, because it's right around the corner. <laughs> um, soft baked oatmeal as well. Going to try those for like a snack or breakfast. Reagan likes these macaroni and cheese. Not really for me. Uh, Thomas bagels. She wanted plain, so I so bought plain this time. I just ran out of cooking wine, so I had to buy extra of that. 
Um, see, this is to, this is a prime example of what I mean by coupons. I don't usually buy my health or health products, <laughs> my cleaning products at a grocery store. They just they overcharge it. But I had coupons and this one was on sale. So we're going to try this multi-service cleaner because I needed something for the kitchen. Lemon juice, uh, strawberry cream cheese. Already cut up fruit because I'm too lazy to cut it up myself. Yes, I am. Uh, vitamins. Again, this was on sale and I had a coupon. That's the only reason why I bought vitamins uh, at a grocery store. Otherwise, I think I usually go through Amazon for that. I'm about to make a tuna salad and I saw a YouTuber actually put dill in her her salad. I'm like, hmm, that's a good idea. Let me actually start using dill because I do like pickles. Cream of chicken, cream of mushrooms, bananas. All right, so uh, YouTubers, a lot of people have been raving about this brand um, of spaghetti sauce. I know one thing, it better be good <laughs> because this jar was $8. If it, I declare, because I usually go with another brand that's just as good to me because I always spice up my spaghetti sauce. I don't usually, I don't just take it out the jar and, and, and eat it that way. I spice it up, I put things in it, but I've been hearing high reviews on this brand, so I'm gonna try it. I did have one, but mom, <laughs> you, you cooked with it, so I didn't get a chance to taste it. So I'm gonna taste this one. Cheerios, uh, individual cereals. Uh, I don't always buy boxes of cereal because it goes stale. Because again, we're not milk drinkers and these last a little a long a longer time. Uh, back here is just regular bathroom tissue. This was on sale, so that's the only reason why I buy Vanity Fair napkins. Otherwise, I'm good using a paper towel, honestly. Um, I've been wanting these. I think these went away for a long time. They only had the peanut butter, and I do love peanut butter. I love those, but I got tired of them. They bought back cheese, at least I just noticed it. And these were on sale, so I was like, yes, good snack for that. Raw shrimp, fries. This is like the best brand of fries. If you never had grown in Idaho. I mean, I know that's like a cliche because Idaho potatoes, duh. Yeah, get it. <laughs> but this brand right here, I've tried the one in the red bag and then other brands. It's not as crispy and I put cook them in my air fryer the best. So try those if they have those in your local grocery store. Uh, hand toss pieces. Again, when I don't feel like cooking, same with these. I usually go with Stouffer's, but I'm actually going to try these. These were on sale and I was getting tired of Stouffer's. They just have the same, same foods. Like they're not making new meals. I'm like, mm, let me try this one. So healthy choice. And I think these are much healthier too. This brand, uh, this one is meatball marinara and this one is Parable Mediterranean. What is it? Mediterranean style. There we go. Uh, these for my dessert snack. I love putting them in the refrigerator. I'll have one a day just for my dessert. That's my only sweet for the day. I've been craving oatmeal pie, so that's it. And then lastly is paper towels. Oh, no, I forgot these. Uh, vegetables as well. All right, so that is my first grocery haul that I've done on this channel. If you want me to do more, like I said, I was not planning on it, but if you guys like for me to do more, just tell me in the comments below and I will think about doing it. Now, the other reason why I wanted to do it was because of this reason. A few months ago, I hopped on this app called Fat Fetch. It's actually a receipt app. And if you're one to actually hold on to your receipts or use them because for whatever reason, for me, I because I'm an entrepreneur, I needed to keep up with my receipts because I use them uh, th at the next year for tax reasons to um, write off a lot of expenses. So I keep my receipts, but I don't always use them sometimes. And sometimes I just don't need them for whatever reason. But anyway, I came across this app, Fetch, that it actually, when you scan your receipts, you get points for it. So I am at currently over 4,000 points. I will say it does take a long time for you to get points, but eventually you get enough points, you get to redeem them for gift cards. And I keep my receipts anyway, or I use them for tax reasons. So why not actually double use them and try to get receipts? So groceries are actually the biggest benefit for using this app. So I'll show you how it works. 
Here's my receipt, by the way. With all these groceries, I spent $186.81. Uh, that's a little bit more. <laughs> um, I, I blame the, the, the tomato sauce and the cut up fruits <laughs> for that. A little more than I spend usually on a month. I usually spend an average on $150. But in this haul, I saved, where is it? I saved $16, 16.60. And if you actually want to know, for the year, I've saved almost $450. So that's actually, I mean, it's pretty good. A little penny saved. And I, I'm a couponer, so I will use coupons in a hot minute. But the way you use this app is you would actually go to this button here, press it, and then you scan it. Once you log in, create an account, you actually scan it. So you scan your receipt. You have to make sure that it has the date, the store, and the total on here. So I may not be able to put this in the camera for you guys because, well, actually, let me do this. All right, I got it positioned to maybe I can try it. Okay, so you try to get the whole receipt in your phone and then press the scan button. It scans to ensure that you got everything. So yeah, I'm probably gonna have to put you guys down. <laughs> you get the, the just so that I can get the whole receipt. Hold on, I'll come back. Got it. So I got everything, you see how it's all green? That means you received everything you're supposed to get and then you swipe up so that it goes. So I'm swiping up and then you wait, does a little buzz and it comes back with the number of points that you received for your haul. How many did I get? Oh my gosh, that's actually the most I've ever received. Oh my God, this is a real reaction because I've never received over a thousand. You know what I think it is? I think I bought, um, you can get certain groceries. Yep, that's exactly what it is, I see it. I, because I bought Thomas bagels before, I've actually, this was the last one. And she wanted bagels anyway, Reagan wanted bagels anyway. So I was like, well, maybe if I get this, I can get that thousand. Yeah, look at God. <laughs> All right, so I got over a thousand and then 192. So I must have some other groceries that caused me to get a lot of points. So that's cool. Actually, I think I have enough to get a gift card now, but I'm gonna try to save it till I get like 10,000 points. I get in the five digits. All right, and then you actually have an extra button you can press to get extra points. It's so cute. It's like a little arcade. All right, I only have only got 25 points. All right, so that's fine. Look, every little bit counts. So now I have, what? All right, 5,400, 54.75, I'll take it. Okay, well, and can I redeem that for something? Yeah, yep, I could actually. Up to 5,000, 5K, uh, let's see, nope. All right, maybe I can't, but anyway, you get the gist of how it is. So don't think it's just grocery receipts because I thought that at first, but you can literally use this app for any any receipt, all any and all receipts. Clothes, like you see Ulta here, Amazon. Oh, the Amazon one is really cool. Actually, I got to do that now. So let me, actually, let's, let's go ahead and do it now because I just did an Amazon order and you connect, you see here, you press this button, and it's actually two options. One option to scan your receipt with your phone and the other option is an E option. So if you connect it like Walmart and Amazon, so I'm gonna press it now, it, add a, it and your email and Outlook. So you can actually go ahead and connect it. So it's gonna look through your phone or your emails to see if you can get extra points. And I will get some, not Walmart, cause I don't usually shop at Walmart, but I will get something for Amazon. So let's see. As you can see, it's fetching shipped Amazon orders within the last 30 days, which actually reminds me, don't hold on to your receipts and then scan them like after days or weeks because just it lessens your points. So as soon as you get your receipt, go ahead and scan it. Don't wait to do it. All right, see, I have emails and I received 25 points for my Amazon order. It's a shame. I spent over a hundred and almost $110, but on that order, but I'm only getting 25 points. But again, you mostly get the points for your groceries and not so much your uh, other things that you buy. But you, again, use it for anything. Yesterday I used it for gas because I got gas. If you're interested in 
using this app on a consistent basis, you're really good receipts and why not get some extra gift cards from saving your receipts and scanning them. I'm gonna leave this QR code up on the screen so that you can pause this right now and take a picture of it. Or you can use this code here that I'm gonna put in the description box below and just download the app, enter this code in, and there you get started. We actually both get extra points just for using this referral code. So I really appreciate it if you do use it. I really wanted to come back on here and say, oh, Royals, that dill spice added something great to this tuna salad. It didn't. <laughs> I can't even taste it. I don't, maybe I don't know what dill tastes like. I mean, I know it tastes like in a pickle, but, and I did put relish in my tuna salad, so maybe that has something to do with it. But yeah, I don't think I'll be buying dill anymore because it didn't do anything for this salad. However, the salad is still good though. I do do something different. I put it on a cinnamon raisin bagel. I know you're probably thinking, Rokia, that does not sound good. Well, I like, I do have regular bread, but I just didn't want on regular bread because I, I like a salt and sweet kind of flavor. Yeah, I'm a salty sweet kind of girl. So we're gonna put it on, put this tuna salad on this. Okay, scratch that. I did taste the dill as I kept eating. Really good, actually. All right, it's added to my list for the next time. Also, love the tuna on the cinnamon raisin bagel. Don't knock it till you try it. Hey, by the way, I know you haven't seen me all day. Those of you who watch my videos to the end, I really, really appreciate it. It does help the channel. If you end or stop the video in, in the middle of watching something, it does actually hurt. So if you always watch my video to the end, thank you so much for doing that. Don't forget to like because that does also help my channel out because it shows YouTube that I have engaged audience. Oh, and speaking about engaged audience, not even talking about the algorithm. I really like trying to build a community. I really want to build a community. So if you find anything in this video or any of my videos, please give me a comment. I want to talk to you. Like I really want to engage and like talk to someone. <laughs> so if you like the tuna salad, if you don't agree with anything that I've done, nicely <laughs> tell me in the comments so we can so we can talk okay thank you
in the air, y'all. Rain down, rain. Fingers in the air. Rain down, rain. I ran to the flood. It is Friday the 13th and I cannot believe I did a full week of content for you all. I'm really getting good at this vlogging. Gotta pat myself on the back. We're about to head out to this casting call. It's actually my fitness coach. She asked me to come and be a judge for her content. She's trying to boost up her YouTube so she knows that I'm a brand strategist and I can give her some tips. So in the midst of me coming to give her support, I'm actually going to be a judge of her, I think it's a dance class or something. I don't know, y'all yeah, see in a second. But Reagan is going with me, she's excited. She likes watching, what is that show? Not American Idol, I don't know. I, one of those dance shows she likes watching, oh, America's Got Talent, that's what it is. Her and my dad, that's their show that they watch. And she's excited, she's going to be my judge assistant <laughs> so let's go ahead and go because and oh my gosh it's so late it's it's at eight o'clock in the evening and y'all know <laughs> i am winding down about this time so the fact that i'm actually going to this thing this late and i hate the fact it already gets dark outside now uh, y'all just pray for me Thank you. 